now in this video we're going to look at the variable resistor. So I don't actually have any variable resistors. They would only have uh, two terminals, but uh, the trim pot does the same thing, but has another uh, terminal. So you can put a voltage across the uh, trim pot there, and it'll give you a percentage of that voltage, depending on how far along the wiper is turned. Uh, of course, that's not meant to power stuff, which will also throw off uh, the voltage, but we're not going to worry about that uh, in this video. So we have uh, either zero ohms of resistance uh, right there. That's why we have a 220 ohm resistor protecting the LED because we're dealing with five volts there. And without that resistor, if we just connected the LED directly there, then uh, it would burn out if uh, we don't limit current some other way. So any case there, we have uh, zero ohms of resistance and we can go all the way up. This is a 10,000 ohm uh, trim pot, but uh, be aware that doesn't mean we necessarily have 10,000 ohms right now. A lot of times they're about that 10% higher or somewhere in that range, maybe 5%. Um, so they can be higher, but it doesn't really matter because, I mean, you just turn it down a little bit if it was uh, uh, 11,000 and now you got 10,000. So you got that full range. This just gives you, you know, the uh, minimum that it is. It's probably slightly higher. So now one thing I do want to uh, mention, I waited this long uh, to make this video for a couple of reasons. Uh, uh, main reason why I actually fried the component I wanted to use in the video I wanted to make. Um, and I don't have any more to back up, so I had to order some. Uh, but also I waited on covering the variable resistor because uh, as you can see, we can quickly uh, get the effect we want without uh, knowing the exact resistance that we have. Uh, we could get the LED uh, brightness. Now the problem is though, so that kind of, at least when I was first learning electronics, I really thought that was a, a great thing. You know, I don't have to learn all this other stuff. But uh, there we go, we're to the positive supply. Without this other uh, resistor, we would have a short circuit, the LED would blow out. But we have a uh, series resistor. This is about the minimum resistance you want to use. It could go a tiny bit lower, but this is generally a minimum I use. And uh, so it's important you learn at least the minimum resistance you're gonna need at all times. So you don't want to just uh, do trial and error to find your resistance. And uh, that's tempting though when you're first learning electronics. So I held off on covering this. So now let's look at an example of what we would do if uh, we were just going to use a uh, variable resistor to find the resistance we want. So we got uh, 5 volts at the power supply there. And the LED is on. I'm going to turn the power off. There you go. You can see the LED is off. Plus we need to remove the LED to get the most accurate measurement. Set the meter to measure resistance. So for whatever reason we really liked how bright that LED was. We want to know how much resistance it took. Because we're going to use a fixed re uh, value resistor from now on. We can just measure the total resistance right there. So 2.1 basically uh, kilo ohms right there, 2,100 ohms of resistance is uh, what we, we need to select. So you could do that if you really want to. Make sure to turn the meter off when you're done. 